Hey guys, it's David McNichol here with another boss tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a bleach bypass effect uh, in After Effects and see how we can create a more film style look uh, with our footage. So here's the footage uh, with the effects applied uh, and then this is the raw footage. As you can see the effect makes it more film like and uh, less kind of home footage looking. Um, but just before we uh, get into it, um, if you wanted to download the footage and uh, project file, just jump onto uh, my blog. The link is in the description and we could just Google search Boss Studios blog. You'll be able to find the uh, footage and uh, project file. Okay, so let's begin. Let's drag this footage into a new composition there. And uh, straight off the bat, we could try something. Um, make it look like it's been filmed with a super duper lens or well it's officially known as that but more co uh, sometimes called a uh, anamorphic lens but we won't get into that um, so just give us more of a wide screen look if you wanted people kind of you know automatically kind of associate that with film so that's kind of a step forward in the right direction sometimes uh, with our film look whatever you want to do um, so this uh, effect, the bleach bypass effect, isn't just um, an effect just shucked on. We'll, we'll actually have to create a few layers to kind of get the uh, desired look. So first, Control D to duplicate the layer, um, and then also we need a new yellow layer, yellow solid. Um, so basically, what we're going to do here is we're going to get this color information of the yellow and overlay it uh, on the footage. So let's press T for our opacity and bring that down a little bit. So you can kind of see we start to get that kind of yellow feel. Um, so basically these transfer modes, um, if you're not quite sure, it's just basically how a layer reacts with another layer within the, within the composition. And um, so this one here is just affecting the layer below and she's going to overlay its color information onto this. So it looks a lot nicer than just taking down the opacity. If you change back to normal, like a normal layer, we just got the opacity down, it just kind of looks weird. So if we use this overlay, we get it like the blacks will come through a lot nicer and look a little bit more professional. Um, so that's that. Starting to get, I'm going to add a little bit more yellow here. Now, to, for the actual bleach bypass effect, we use these two layers here. Um, and what we're going to do in this layer, we're going to crush the blacks uh, kind of too far. And in this layer here, we're going to bring back the color information to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, let's kind of jump into that and have a look. So the levels. Um, so we're just jumping in here and kind of making taking it too far, almost. It looks bad. Um, let's bring that back to jump in the hues and change. So his face looks a little bit more human-like. Um, so that's not obviously not doing anything because we've got this layer on top. So you can see that now. <clears throat> so if we were to change this uh, transfer mode to color and turn this on, we'll see what happens, is it kind of brings back uh, the color information um, of the footage kind of where it should be because there's a, the color, nothing has happened to this layer. So I'll, this is a little bit confusing, but I'll show you a little uh, demonstration here. If we put in the grey layer, um, turn these layers just so you can be sure, the colour of this layer is being projected down the layer below it because we're using this transfer mode. Um, so in, as a consequence, if we do that onto the layer below, we kind of get this um, more natural looking footage. So you can kind of see it looks kind of cool. Um, now I think 
I'm going to refine that a little bit now, having put that on, I want to kind of brighten this kind of underneath. So there we go. This kind of nicer, uh, um, kind of hot, washed out look. Um, and so that, that basically that layer is done. Uh, so really just kind of tweaking this layer here. Now we want to make the colours maybe pop a little bit more. Um, but it kind of has, as a result, uh, our greens are starting to look a little bit too green um, for our washed out hot sunny day. Look, it looks more like we're in a rainforest uh, where it's uh, nice and cool. But we want to kind of look hot and steaming. So in here, Color Finesse has this cool little, uh, um, what would you call, section called secondary, um, where basically you can select colors and color correct just those specific colors. So we're going to um, just color correct the greens and leave his face and shirt uh, alone. But before we do that, I want to jump in here and add a little bit of blue. Might look a bit strange, but bear with me. So I think it just adds a little bit more depth um, and a bit more interesting look than just just the yellow. We'll take it back and go forward again. I think that's kind of cool. Maybe maybe take the blue out a little tiny bit. It's too much. Okay. Um, so like I was saying, let's j jump back into this color layer, this color finesse, and let's jump into secondary and start selecting the green colors so that we can bring out the saturation and maybe add a little bit of a yellow tint uh, to the greens so we can kind of get the look that we're looking for. Now one way uh, you can do this is just start, just select a color, the green, um, and I think this down here is to help us out kind of realize what we're um, selecting, but I kind of find it kind of too confusing and a bit weird doesn't really show anything so I just leave it off and what I do is I come over here and just crank the hue and the saturation and up here you can start to see that these purples uh, let's get a color we can really see yeah like these blues and pinks they're the colors that we're affecting um, I find that a little bit more easy to use than this down here. So we'll just go through and select these greens until basically we can't see any green anymore. It's just like all this colored. Um, it's going to spill over into them a little bit, but it doesn't matter because we, we're just going to change it to a yellow color. So if there's a little yellow in his hair and down here, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I think that's about it. So let's turn that off, take that back to zero, saturation back to normal. So back to square one again, but we have all of the green colors basically selected from our dark greens to the bright greens. And now if we start manipulating again all these settings, it's only going to affect uh, the greens. So let's add a bit of a yellow tint. And we'll take the saturation out a little bit. Now, yeah, let's not touch that. We must have come in here and make his face look a bit more normal. Um, yeah, I think that looks good. So basically, yeah, just jump in there the secondaries and change that. And now you can see that that's pulled out. Let's go back. Greens are very kind of dark. I just press undo and let's go forward again, redo. And you can see that the yellow tint now is coming through on the greens. It kind of just finishes off the effect, I think. Um, the nice, uh, hot, dry kind of look. So, kind of from that to that. So I think it's a cool look. Um, so just, uh, I suppose to recap, in this bottom layer, we just jumped in and crushed the blacks from both sides. 
um, so here and then we brighten it up also make it nice and bright but obviously it doesn't look very very nice uh, just the way it is like that so we introduced uh, this layer here to put down the color information so it looks a little bit more natural and then to take out uh, the greens in the secondary kind of section there <clears throat> and then we put our yellow layer about 33 percent it looks nice with a transfer mode of overlay and just quickly we'll chuck in a vignette because as you know there's no color correction tutorial is complete without a vignette not really but so just jump in here uh, I double clicked on the ellipse tool and that gave us a nice ellipse mask on our black solid so uh, that should be come up but if it doesn't just press M on your solid and it'll bring up this kind of little uh, doovy here and press subtract and press F sorry to bring up the feather so bear with me if you already know this I'm sorry but uh, probably some people didn't know so press F yet and then T for an opacity our opacity and then can I bring that down and to there so it kind of brings your attention to his it doesn't really do too much does it brings attention to his face a little bit more so yeah that's about it uh, I think that looks nice so if you want to download the footage uh, jump on the blog like I said just uh, in the description it should have a link to the blog but if, you, if you're looking at this video in one of these dodgy YouTube websites that doesn't kind of provide you the uh, description or link I uh, just uh, google boss studios blog and you should be able to find it there so you can download the project files the footage and have a look at some of the other uh, tutorials on the, on the blog and so I hope uh, you enjoyed this uh, and I hope it was helpful uh, feel free to leave some comments or some suggestions of some tutorials that you'd like to see um, so that's about it and I'll see you around.